Yeah, okay, so you see the, du the duplications? So something is causing things to get messed up. So now I, now I have the fun job of closing, uh, trying to figure out which mods might be causing this. And it's, I'm afraid it's going to be a little bit tedious and repetitive. Um, but as always, if anyone has questions about the mods, Linux, uh, playing the game, etc., um, please feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to you know, stop what I'm doing and, um, and provide help. I've done it before. You know, I do this because I, want the feed I, I, want, I like the feedback. Um, okay, disable mods. We'll open this into... A so the way, the way you do it, if, let's say you, you're, you're running a game and you're having problems you don't know which mod it is okay now i happen to be an extreme here in that i have two about 200 mods a little under 200 okay but the basic idea is you divide well first you would i guess you would want to make an educated guess if there are certain mods that you think might be causing the problem okay might then start off with those okay and i know i installed uh, um let me see the, the, um, let me i installed something new for me okay it won't show it here because this is the, this is the current save but if i go to the old save Okay, the um, career stock, no, no, yeah, career stock, okay, game data, and now I look at the place, um, contract reward modifier, I know I added, okay. So what I do, I have a directory called Disable Mods, and I move the ones that I'm, I want to remove temporarily into here. Contract, reward, contract. I really doubt it's this, okay? But at this point, I have no idea. So it's a matter of let's try and see. Okay. Um, urgent contracts, I think, uh, urgent contracts, I guess it was there, real plume, all your all, angle can, patch manager, scatterer, which we don't have, sigma, which I'm myriad, terrible engineer, so those are just updates. Now, looking over here, too many orbits. Okay, I guess the one which I, I must have. Oh, wait. Oh, that's installed. Hold on a second. Let me take a look at all. Mission Capcom, Capcom, Mission Control on the go. That's, that's something I added, and that, that quite possibly could be it. The D-Magic Utilities Capcom. And actually, yeah, you know, this D-Magic was up at the top here. Um, right there. Okay, so let's find D-Magic. Okay, now I can't just move the whole thing because some of these others are needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create in here a directory called the magic ut. Okay, and I'm going to move Capcom Capcom into it. The other thing you could do if you want to is just use just totally delete it. But this way, when I'm done, I can copy it back. Okay. Um, got that real plume all your all. 
All right. All right. So those are the, those are the two I'm, which I just added. And now let's see what happens. Okay. And if it still happens with this, then I start grabbing a whole bunch, probably about half of them, moving them in here and, and starting it up. And what you do, excuse me, is when you're having a problem, okay, you have to isolate where the problem is. So take half, throw it away or move it somewhere, start up the game, see if it happens. If it happens, again, then you know the problem is with one of the mods currently in that set. So now you, you've divided it by half. Do the same. Take half of those and get rid of them in a place where you can put them back and, and you boot and start it up. You see if it's still happening. If it's not happening, you know it's in the other half. So you swap them and you keep doing this and you keep drilling down. And it sounds like a lot, but you really think about it. 200 divided the first time will divide it in half. Will be a, there'll be a hundred left. Talking about mine, of course. Second time you divide it in half and there'll be 50 left. So it's it's only going to be about six to eight iterations before I've been able I'll have been able to isolate it down to the right, the right mod specifically, which is causing the problem. Of course, if it's a if it's an interaction between two mods, then you have problems. And then it's a real issue trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, so let's see. Capcom says it's only it, it's. Release for 1.88. Okay, and again, it should be fine, but we'll see. So it seemed that launching the rocket is where we get the issue. Okay. You know, one of the biggest things I don't like about this lockdown is I haven't been able to get a haircut for two months, and it's showing. Not this, this, this is intentional, but back here, it's just getting to be very messy. And you always think about, you know, what happens when you, when you can't do things? Well, the small things in life. Oh, Meto Mato Matoro, thank you for the follow. And welcome to the Flying Penguins. I didn't know you were here. And Matoro is a great streamer. He's been around for a long time. Um, and um, he streams KSP. I, I actually would say that he's a better player than I am in the game. Um, because he gets to play it more. Um, he does a bunch of different things. Uh, so you know, check him out and um, you know, give him a follow. He's, he 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 re he's really worth watching. So what were you doing earlier, Mataro? Okay. All right, so we're going to do simply going to repeat the same thing, same rocket, and we'll see what happens. Well, that's oh. I have my old chair here, and I didn't realize it was showing in the background. Okay. There we go. Load the rocket to the stars. Let's go ahead and launch it. Oh, good. Yeah. And by the way, Matoro, I was kind of, I, I was just ribbing you about the um, the shuttle with the with the rockets on both sides. I th really think it was a great way of taking care of it. And I, while I was working elsewhere, remember I had to go away for a bit. Um, oh, it's still happening. Okay. All right, so it's not those mods. 
um, I really, um, and I, I was thinking about how would you solve it, and I think, what if you get another rocket? And you, you, you did exactly what I thought, what, what I thought, um, what I was thinking of. So it looked good. Okay, now I got to move half of the mods. See, we're still getting, we're getting these null refs and everything. It's really annoying. Okay, what I'm going to do before, oh, let me get out of this first. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So, all right. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm showing all the mods that are installed, okay? And what I'm going to do is, is sort it by max KSP version, okay? Not that I expected there to be a problem. Jet Sounds continued. Well, actually, it's not installed anymore. I manually removed it and I put it in Jet Sounds updated, okay? We'll just do that. It's actually, there's nothing to remove. Modular Pods is, is 161. TD Props is 161. I'm not sure what these guys are. Let's... Let us take a look and see if these are parts or something else. Oh, crap. Um, okay. It opened Chrome, and I have a lot of tabs and windows in Chrome. Okay. I mean, it's not going to hurt my system. It, I'm just using Firefox to avoid this. Go away. Okay. Modular pods. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Okay, this is mod pods. Um, these are parts, okay. TD props, take a look at that. This is a pack of the props he's been using. Okay. I guess that's just pretty, pretty things, okay. Um, the other thing I can do is actually look into the content to see if there are any, any plugins. No plugins there. No plugins here. Props, but no plugins. Okay, good. And 4K scaled maps is. Oops. 4K S. Oh, that could be it. Scaled map to icons and text. Now that was actually working 181. The map icons and their labels are not. So it makes this unplayable at high resolutions. This mod scales those things using the stock UI setting. All right. First thing is I don't think that would do it, but I am going to move it. Okay, for KSP. Um, this is 191 Career. I don't want that anymore. 4KSP, we'll move that out. Making less history is a DLL one seven three. Um, D magic, making less history. So what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for all the all the DLLs which are, have a possibility of causing a problem. I'm just moving them out. Okay. Community trade icons are just icons in DDS files. Crowdsource science, it just configs. Uh, correct COL is plugin. That's actually one of mine. It should be fine because it's compiled for 1.8. And at that point, I think I've gotten all of the, the minimal, the low ones out. Okay. Um, so these two are possible 
quite possibly the trouble. So this is what I mean by educated guests. Supposedly they say, people have said that they work, and it was working fine in 1.8. Maybe there's a problem in 1.9, so we'll find out. Okay, so basically now that I've removed all of the pre-1.8 DLLs that I know about, I'm going to go ahead and, well, actually we got these down here, which say any. Okay, a, a, a ECS motion suppressor. That actually I'm a little concerned about. Oh, that's one of mine. Never mind. I don't know why it says any, but that's fine. Uh, A I E S. I will again. I will double check this to make sure. It was yeah. The, the last build was was in October 26 for 1.8, and that should be fine. Okay. AIES is parts, patches of parts, all you all I just rebuilt. Okay. Antenna helper. I know that's that's up to date. Basically anything that's mine has is up to date. Atmosphere autopilot. Now I, we we haven't even gotten into it. So I can't see that that being an issue. Um better SRBs. I know um it's okay. Better time warp. Um, that's one of mine. Blast is, is my chatterer. It was working. Comnet relays. Let's see what. Let's see how old this is. Okay, releases released on January thirteenth. So most likely it's. Um, well, you know something. I'm going to move it out. The reason I'm moving it out is that when someone says. Um, a mod is good. One one mod is good for all versions from 1.3 on up. Um, there's a problem with that. Okay, the problem is it may work. Okay, contract packs. Oh, so that's actually just contract packs. So that's fine. Okay. So that's actually not a problem. That's just contract. But the thing is that if a DLL really can't go between different versions of .NET, and before 1.8 and 1.73, it's earlier, it was running .NET 3.5. Okay. Um, again, I don't think it's contract configurator, but I'm going to move it out just because... The magic. He just rebuilt that for me because because I found bug in it. Docking docking found it Kerbal attachment system. Let's see when it was built. Thirty five releases was last built April twenty six. So that should be fine. Okay, Kerbal inventory system. Was last built um, April twenty fifth. Okay. Uh, Kerbal joint reinforcement. I know that's good. Kerbal crash systems. Oh, that's that's that needs update. That that's a problem. Okay. Um, Kerbal crash systems, and that's and, and the problem is because I've I'm in, I shouldn't say I'm adopting it, and actually it really works to my knowledge. But I started to adopt it, and then he contacted me. So I'm I'm holding off on that. But I but I do have an updated version, uh, which works better. So I'm just going to install that. Let me just do this and be done with it. Copy here. Okay. 
All right, we'll leave that for right now. Uh, Kerbal occupation colors are just um, in fig files. Craft organizer. Okay, that's one I'm not too... I think I know what it is. Uh, I don't need it. It's not urgent. So right, let's find KSP craft or organizer. KF KSP craft organizer. We'll move that out. KSP logger is mine. NavHut is mine. Patch manager is mine. Reposoft is JPL. And what is this? These are just configs. Okay. Space Age. Gall wheel. Um, again, let's take a look at it. So that actually has a chance of may maybe affecting this. I'm not sure. Um, released on October 17th. So it's not compatible. 173 below. So it's good. Okay. Strategia 1.8. Again, we'll check that. Releases. Uh, rebuild for 1A. That's good. Urgent contracts is, I believe, a DLL. Um, let's just check it. I don't think this would do it, but... One point eight release. That's fine. Waypoint manager is. We'll just double check it again. But he, he's pretty good on his stuff. Um, okay. So I've moved some others out. We'll try it again and see what happens. And now I can get back to the stream. Okay. So Matoro, um, question for you. Um, do you ever do challenges on the forum? And I'm asking because I saw a challenge today, which really is very intriguing, and I thought I might mention it to you. It would be, it, it, it's, it's a, it's a doable challenge. And what it is, is build a station, a hanging station, okay? And the idea is that you have to build a station which is hanging from one of the arches on the mun, okay? Um, and you can't use sheets. It's using pure stock parts, stock and DLC, and you can build it however you want to build it. Um, the guy has a, uh, a video up there showing him doing it, and someone else a long time ago did it. He has a link to that. Um, and it's it's I have I know how I would go about doing it um, in theory, but actually implementing it is um, is going to be quite the task. So, all right, now I actually just saw a bit of red here. Let's see, do I have to play a log here? Okay, load. Okay, that would be okay. That's because I removed things like contract configurator. Okay, there's a bunch of things looking for contract configurator, and so they're not going to work for obvious reasons, and that's fine. So these are errors which I expected from doing from this this debugging, and that's okay. Oh, excuse me. I'll say this, that this is going a lot faster in the startup um, than JNSQ. Um, and it's fine, and it, it, it makes, you know, it just makes a lot of sense as to why it does. Um, it also hasn't really, we, we had, what, one crash in the early beginning, and that was it, uh, on one nine. So it looks like the, the re reduction in the number of mods is helping that at least. Yeah, the GPU is um, only used, it's up to 5 gig of GPU memory being used. So, yeah, I went, uh, was, when, I, when I built this new computer, I got a RTX 2070, 
mainly because I wanted the 8 gig of memory on it, not because of the, sp the speed or anything. I would have liked to get the 2080, but it was double the price at the time. But, but basically, because of all the graphics mods that I install, I knew that I was going to be having issues there. But I had no way to find the issues, the issues until Microsoft came out with this. I actually didn't know what the issues to find were. <laughs> Most likely, okay. But I'll tell you, Jade, it is beautiful. So what I may have to do if I want to play it is come up with a minimal set of mods so I could at least play with JNSQ and have have a minimal set you know, like 50 I, I really it's gonna be hard to do you know because I do like mods okay Why just brush to clean? When Sorry about that. Still happening. Okay, I will tell you, um, I actually don't have Nova Punch, and I don't have KW, and I actually uninstall, I'll, on this save I uninstall, I do have, on my JNSQ I do have Space Y. Okay, alright, so we know that that's not great, so I'm actually going to just kill this. directly from the task manager okay all right so now i'm going to start doing half and half okay so and i just have, just have to be careful that like some of these are, are are needed by others so i'm just going to do this and a's b's i'm not going to actually do half um but i'm going to do a lot okay up to that sounds updated okay move that over here actually before i do that um new folder um okay okay now i move all of these over to here Come on, Windows. 65 items is what I moved. Okay, so, so about a third in this case. Well, considering what's been going on, I feel this music is very, very appropriate. I'm sure a lot of you will recognize what it is. Okay, good. So the reason I killed the game rather than doing an exit is because I have um, Quick Start installed. So it's actually going to go directly to the VAB. Just make save it, make it, save it, save me a little bit of time. 
So Jade, it's really funny. I manage at least three different part failure mods, okay? Um, and I don't use any of them. I tried using, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Scrapyard and O Scrap, and they worked, but I found that they were working too much. I, I, I really wasn't appreciating the, the failures, the in-flight failures. Um, it was taking away from my enjoyment of the game. So, and this is what I love about this game so much is that do what you want. You know, if you want that sort of thing, you know, and I, frankly, I thought I was, I thought I would really enjoy it. I really did, but it was just interfering too much with what I was trying to do. You know, and like I said, you know, the mods were great. You know, uh, I almost uh, was the one who took over Scrapyard and O Scrap, but uh, it was actually better that someone else did. Cause I could not give them the um, the attention they deserve. Let's actually see if I can load the, the rocket. It's missing parts. Okay. So we'll have to build a different one. All right, well, let's just do um, that. A solid rocket booster. Basically, I'm doing, trying to make something similar to what we had. We actually had, uh, it's not here actually, so we'll go with this one. That's too big. Too big also. Wow, these, I guess it's a small rocket, but. I'm looking for the smallest wing that I can possibly find. Too big. Now I realize it looks a little strange, but it'll do what I need for this test. Okay. And staging, oh, I do need a decoupler.
Okay, check the staging. Let's go there. All right, let's see what happens. So, so far, everything's good. Well, hello, hello, Lucid. Um, Scrapyard and O-Scrap, I think things are repairable, and it's kind of like the same. It's okay, so look, we're fine. So it's this set of parts, which we have, is okay. So it looks like that whatever I moved out last time is what caused the problem. So we'll uh, revert. Oops. We'll, re we'll re revert this to vehicle assembly. I will kill it again. Okay. Uh, let me just save this. End task. There we go. Okay. So now we get the fun part of um, new folder. Okay, two. All right, open that up. And now what I'm going to do is move all of these, oh, no, except for those, antenna, keep it straight, all the way down to squad, base age squad. into here okay and and then all of these into here as well okay and then the okay that's good all of these we move back So, but so this t this test eliminated two thirds of all the mods that I had installed. Okay. Okay, my problem with Kerbalism is a personal problem. Um, I don't like what it does. I think it does way too much. Okay. Um, it's amazing the way it works. Um, but I, I think it, there are two things, in my opinion. Uh, he does... It's trying to do so much that it replaces so many things of the game. To a certain extent, it's good. Because it... It, it's one person it was one person's view and it was somewhat consistent as opposed to having a hodgepodge of mods each one each one does things in their own way okay so from that point of view it's good i think it's doing too much but the other thing is um i don't like the fact that they claim that the sing a single dll will work for any version of ksp because i know too much about the internals i would rather have a compiled version specific or toward the group like 1.8, 1.9, etc. 1.6 to 1.7 was mostly compatible, etc. Anything in, inside the same 1.x will be will be generally okay. Um, but that one DLL, uh, I know too much about how the internals of the, these things work. And um, the way things change inside the .NET, and understand that I'm not a Windows developer. I just you know, I use it, and I use this. I, I work on Linux, obviously. For those of you who couldn't couldn't figure it out, um, it was uh, you know when you change the libraries that you're using, you're asking for trouble. Okay. Blow, blow, how? 
I, I, I don't... I, I, like I said, this is my opinion, okay? Um, all of them are, are un, unavailable, right? Okay, so let's build it again. <laughs> there. Okay. What's going on? Oh, this is strange now. How do I get a... Oh, I, put, I, I got the wrong command pod. Okay, fine. Don't save, mark one, get a parachute. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> Well, I, I believe it or not, I do get the question every once in a while. Okay, and it boggles my mind, but I, I can understand it, you know, especially someone who doesn't know what what it is. Ah, all my favorite edit editor functions aren't here. get okay that'll do it main engine separate okay good yeah I know that they're clipping it I'm not planning on launching it Why aren't they able to do this? No, nope, let's just launch it without that. Yes, I know. I know it won't be controllable. Okay. And of course, things are good. So we have an interaction between mods mm. okay. all right so let's take half of these and bring them back Okay, a third. Bring those back. And let's see what happens now.
Okay. And let's see what we get now. Okay, deployable batteries have not not met dependency. Oh, that's okay. Ah. Oh, Fire Fist is thank you for the follow. And welcome to the Flying Penguins. So tomorrow night, I might as well start talking about it. Um I will be modding. Um you, some of you may have remember the mod I was starting to work on called alert monitors well it's now called resource monitors okay why is that unable to load and and um, I've made progress on it I hope to be able to finish it tomorrow night and get it released so what, what what resource monitors do? It'll monitor resources, and it looks okay here. Um, you'll be able to set al alarms on various resources. I wrote it originally because of EC. I got sick and tired of. Um, why can't they do this? Why? See, this actually is straight because I saw this before. Why can't we do that? Go to. So, so the idea. It came to me, Jade, when I was, um, I lost, well, this isn't working too well. I lost, um, I, I had to cheat a ship because I lost all my EC during a time warp. And this ship happened to be, it always happens to be where, it's going to get edge onto the sun in the exactly one direction, which I forget to put a solar panel. So what the resource monitors do, you set your monitor up, and if, it, if the resource drops below whatever you set it at, it'll take you out of time warp and bring you to the ship. And that way you can hopefully not lose missions because of running out of EC. It'll also sound an alarm. Okay, so why is go what's going on here? Okay, so I am seeing a problem here with, with the names, okay? I'm seeing a, a null ref so here also, look at that. Go back in, null ref object not set to, so... Oh, let's see what that is. Load. Okay, here we get uh, astronaut complex. Um... Yeah, this could be caused by what I've been doing. So let me go out and create a new game and try it again, and try the same thing. Yeah, so I've gotten it. It's actually working. Okay. Um, I'm going to cheat myself um, all the technology. Okay. Um, it, it's working. Uh, what I have to do is um, 
there's some cleanup and some polishing which needs to be done. Whatever, if, if, the, if the mods use resources, you'll be able to set that up. Okay, what I'm working, the, the, what I'm really working on now are um, common resources versus all resources. Okay, um, so let us build ourselves a Mark One and decoupler. Parachute. Okay. Applicants, we got an applicant. We have a pilot. Let's go and go ahead and see what happens. So, Lucid Den, um, most of the life support mods that, I, that I'm aware of have ways of letting you know about your, your running out of. Ah, oh, look at that. That's all good, but at least, we, but this time we're not getting problems with Kerbals, okay? So I'm going to continue using this save. Okay, KSP. You know, so yes, this mod could do it, but it'll be duplicating what uh, the life support mod is. All right, so that's good. Um, Okay, so I'm going to do N through R, add those back. Okay, let's try it now. Yeah. So does uh, Snacks, um, and progressive colonization has its own thing. Um, and frankly, I, I think that those, you know, if the mod has its own alarms, it's better to use those than um, than to use mine, because um, you know they've tailored it for what they're doing. Okay. Okay, we got plenty of errors related to those configs, but that's okay. That's just module manager errors. I'm not going to worry about it. 101 errors. Mainly because I think, um, I don't know if those parts are here or not, but whatever. It's depending on something else which may not be installed. Yep. Yeah, uh, I've used tech life support in the past. I don't particularly like it. I find it too much. I, and it, it may w very well be very, very close to or much better to a simulation. But again, this is a game. 
If I was actually designing spaceships, I wouldn't be doing it this way. Okay, we're getting this contract configurator. I'm just going look looking at the errors which came up. Okay, we got this. Ah, and some size resizer. Okay. No idea what that is. Getting a whole bunch of errors related to. Um, why are we getting? Why are those giving errors? Oh, sharing violations. That's okay. Here we are. Patch manager gave an error. That's weird. Oh, post, no, no, not patch manager there. It's module manager. Okay. Mech job. Okay. They look okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, it was originally just going to be EC, an EC monitor, but to make it, making it um, deal with um, you know, other, other resources is child's play, basically. Okay, let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, that happened. Okay, so I, so I've gotten a a group of mods, which when I added caused the problem, and it's a relatively small group now. Okay. Was it resorted on me? Okay, so the good the good news is that at least I know that everything here, everything in here now is okay. So I can move all of these into where is okay? Oh 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 oh! Did that come here? No. Oh, I'm in okay too. Oh. Okay, we're in okay too. So great. Okay, so okay and okay too. Those are all not affect not not part of this whole thing. Okay. So I had done up to and it was N through here we are. Here on down. Okay. So let us these on up. Okay, I'm going to rename these with an underscore at the beginning so they will always be at the top. And the reason for that is it'll make it easy when I do copies. Okay. Okay. A through L have been taken out. Okay. So what I'm put, what I'm put, what I know, I know I added in the stuff below that. So let's see what happens.
The number of patches is, is, is dropping. It's now only 890 patches. So anyway, Jade, what I think I'm going to do for JNSQ is, is try to be ruthless in terms of my mods and start deleting mods um, to try and, re and get rid of this, the problem. Because I do have an issue where I start the game and it crashes just at the point when the logo comes over here, okay? And you look at the log file and it's a, it's a, a DX11 error. Okay, and so I changed some settings, and I and I saw that the uh, memory usage on the on the um, the GPU wasn't quite. It's still close, but it wasn't quite as close as it was before. Um, and I was, and I I still got it. So, um, and that's why I think I removed Space Y from it because I wasn't really using their parts. And it's a very obviously memory. I haven't had that, that issue tonight at all. Okay. But we'll see. Oh, Alpha. You, I didn't realize Alpha Mentz rated me with one. Hello, Alpha Mentz. Welcome. I'm sorry I didn't see you. Okay. Okay, there we go. Launch. Looks good. Okay. Okay. So now, so it's something in here. Okay. So now I'm going to take A's, put all the A's and the B's in. All right. Again, I like doing it by letters because it makes it easy to remember what I need to take out. Oh, wow. Okay. Is this, these are duplicate UUIDs, uh, these in the models? I, I confess I really don't know much about global constructs other than it adds stuff to the game. B9, fatal part switch. Okay, so that's... B9 itself detected an error in itself and, and got out. So I'm just going to move that out of the way and try it again. Every oh, oh every instance of a static. So is it possible for those UUIDs to? I know theoretic technically they're supposed to be unique, but if you have UUIDs in this in, I guess in the build you know the, what you're calling a static the models, um, is is it theoretically possible that a UUID generated in the game? At runtime could match, um, and I know that the odds are I mean, they're extremely long and probably never will. But I also know that sometimes some people they, they assign their own UUIDs, and um, okay. Oh, Python's good. Can you clean them and then? Um, and then save the files, or or I assume you could. Oh, oh, oh! Copy paste, and and uh, what are you using to do the edits? I'm I'm just curious. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You uh, notepad. Okay. So it's just a text editor. So how many? Um, yeah, yeah. Well, I know that. <laughs> the problem is that Notepad sometimes has problems because. I'll give you an example. Um, the guy who's doing the Tetrix mod, okay. Um, he's using Notepad, and it doesn't show him tabs. And there were tabs inside a module manager script file inside the brackets which it was objecting to. Okay, I had to, I loaded it into VI and I saw the errors immediately. Okay, research bodies is in TL. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, I have Notepad here, Notepad++. I use it. Um, well, that looks good. Okay. Um, I, I like using it when I have to load in a whole bunch of things and be able to tab between them. Uh, otherwise, I like using VI. Okay, so we got that. A's and B's are good. So we'll take these, we'll take all the A's and B's out. Okay. A, B, C, camera focus, C, D, and E. Ah. <sighs> Well, um, hmm. I'm trying to think. Um, I think it's trigger has. Oh, but he has something for um, for Visual Studio, which unfortunately isn't working in the latest version of Visual Studio. So I'm waiting for him to get that fixed. But it's, it's supposed to be help aid the uh, development process. Well, you know, Notepad, it, you like it, you use it, then it works for you. You know, the um, I like using Vim. But I would not recommend it to, to other people if if it's not appropriate. Um, it is better than Notepad in some very very specific instances, and maybe you can set Notepad up that way as well. I don't know. All right, but I do know that because VI is as ancient as it is, so to speak, um, you end up not having some of the new fancy stuff can hide a problem which you you won't, won't wouldn't be hidden from vi and for me vi is everywhere windows linux unix wherever i go and i know that a lot of people in the linux world are moving to nano okay and nano is a more powerful editor than vi now, i'm not going to deny it but um vi is everywhere nano is not necessarily everywhere Yeah, it, it's it's to a certain extent it is um uh, what, what what is it? I'm trying to remember what it was. Okay, this is Mad Lab. 
Research bodies isn't here. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. It's a religious argument, okay? Um, you know, I, I refuse to argue religion with, with, with people um, because you're not going to change their minds, okay? Okay, so it still looks good here. All right. Um, and an editor is a religious... Your favorite editor is a religious arg argument because you have your own reasons for liking it. Okay, um, it's not worth... Uh, I I just don't I I don't I don't indulge in those sorts of arguments. I've had people try to engage me in arguments, um, and I just don't I just don't cooperate. That was D E and F, I believe, right? Yeah, D E. So we go to F F G H I J A. Okay, well, well, I will do half of these F F to J, and then we'll do then we'll do the rest of it. Okay, come here. Okay. So you know, and I'm willing to listen sometimes. You know, um, if there is a good reason. I'll try it. It's how I started using Notepad++ for some things. Okay, it is better. Uh, and, you know, but it's, I also recognize its limitations. Hmm. So while I'm waiting, um, I'm just curious, is everybody okay with um, with the video? Because uh, last, last week I did have some problems. I'm just curious if, if people are okay with it. It actually looks like I got encoding here because all I can see... When I look at the setting, it can go 720 down to 160, so that's actually good. Okay, we just had an error because I betcha that um missing something. Hold on. When this happens, it's usually there's 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 been an error. While loading something, which causes it not to be able to go further. So here we go. Here we go. We got sorted list. Uh, Tetrix. Uh, game data configurable. I use it does not exist. Interlink Elite did not press the button just then. All right, so now let's do this. I re it looks like I need to put um, configurable containers in, or here we are. Lo load computer modules. It's Metjeb. Eight to utils is looking for something.
All right, let's end this. Right. Just wanted to check those errors. There we got that. Rover wheel sounds resampled. Looking for ATU tills. That's fine. I know I took it out. Um, okay. So this is the point which I was talking about when when it would suddenly crash. It would get it would get that up there, and then stop. And at that point, it'd be dead. So it haven't hasn't happened at all tonight. All right. All right. Launch. There we go. There we go. We got the error. Okay. All right. Making progress, finally. All right. So, the ones I just brought in were F to J. So, so something in here is causing the problem. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another OK one, move all of these into the, uh, move all of these into OK2. Don't need to make another directory for that. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's these two. Okay. Pretty sure it wouldn't be. A, well, I don't know what this does. This is do oh docking sound. Well, that's interesting. Plugins. Docking sounds. Docking. So it's this one. It says it's any, okay?
But where? Oh. Okay, I bet you this. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if this is it. Because that was last updated for 1.6. Wow. That's old. That's really old. That's updated four years ago. Just let me... Um, here, take a look at this, just to make sure that I'm getting the right one. Set, oh, it says 1.8x, but I bet you he didn't recompile it. download yeah he didn't re he didn't bother recompiling it this is the problem we'll see okay but this is the, this is oh no what happened our universal universal whatever i can't even pronounce it um i'll give you i'll i'll, I'll give you a permit Okay, um, but you really need to let me know first. I, Nightbot does protect me from some malicious links. Anyway, this mod, which are the docking sounds, um, I'm giving it, as, it being a good chance of the cause of all of this. Okay, um, what happened... Well, let me let let's see what happens first, and we will. What did he do, uh, Jade? Oh, it's an uh, that's an ad bot. Okay. Well, in that case, Nightbot did a good job. I see. Thank you. So, actually, should I just ban him, or or report it? Well, actually, I can't. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do the launch. No, it's still there. Okay, so it's not that. All right. I still think it should be recompiled, but... I'm not going to rant about it because it, it, it obviously wasn't the cause of the problem. Okay. Do that, get that out of the way. So. I'm looking for something which would make sense. H-I-J. Okay, I'm going to move parts, part mods that I know about. Move JX antenna. Okay. Um, that's actually the only part mod in there. Fill it up. Flex the docking tracker. Round construction. Set sounds updated. J diminishing RTG. Integrated stack decouplers was mine, and it, and it has a possibility of causing the issue. Possibility, okay. Uh, indicator lights community extensions. And hide empty tech tree. Again, again, I'm moving out the stuff which, in my mind, wouldn't make sense for it to, be, for it to do this. We also know that the field, the, the two field. Training utilities that didn't cause the problem before. 
Oh crap. Stop that. So I'll just move them out as well. Okay. Now let's try it. Oh, joy. So I just tried to ban that bot and it doesn't exist. The user doesn't exist. Isn't that nice? Okay, it actually did. I missed out. So I just banned him. So we won't see him again. Probably wasn't going to see him again anyway, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, All right, let's see what happens. Okay, and it's there. Okay, so it's not those. And task. All right, move these guys into OK2. Thank you. Okay. So fill it up. Flexo docking. Take it here. Flight tracker is an interesting one. Let's take a look and see what that is. Flight tracker by service is solo. Names for that, and this one does library for tracking a Kerbal's flight data. This is a modder. Okay, so actually something required it. Okay. So, flight tracker. Okay, image viewer. Improved chase camera, indicator lights. And we'll get rid of those guys. Okay. Um, hanger extender, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be that. So F, G, I, so assuming it happens, it's one of these three. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to send the email to um, to the Je uh, Jesuit or um, with the patch with the patched file for him. Here we are. Very interesting email address he has. Okay. 
thing. And we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, actually, it's not there. It's in the other one. Touch. Okay. All right. Right. And it's looking good. So it's one of the ones I just moved out. Interesting. I moved out the ones which I guessed weren't causing the problem and they are. Okay. Oops. Oh, I uh Okay, I accidentally closed it. There we go. So it's one of these guys. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to move the eyes back. And see what happens. So if if it happens, then it's one of these three. If it doesn't happen, it's one of those four. Okay. So um, Hello, evil frogs. Hundreds? I, that'd be... So hundreds implies more than 200. Okay? And thank you, but I, don't, I only have <coughs> about 220 or so mods to my name. Um, actually, what I can say is that I mean, the number keeps going up, of course. But uh, as of right now, um, one, two, three, as of right now, I have 217 with another five in um in an adoption process plus the one which i'm working on which is the resource monitors you can always look at my um, spreadsheet which is available but thank you thank you anyway i appreciate it um jade i i don't know but let me check to see because because you shouldn't need I, 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 I'm not sure if I put you as one of my regulars. Night. Night bot. There we go. 
Okay, log in. Okay, regulars. No, you're not. I'll add you. Okay, Jade, you are now a regular. Okay. Don't abuse it. Let's see what you got here. You got here. So that's good. So it's one of these other three. Okay. Oh, you can post these th types of things as, as often as you like. I'm kind of kidding when I say don't abuse it. <laughs> All right, so it's one of these three, okay? Um, so I'm actually going to guess it's this one. Which happens to be one of mine. But we'll see. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So while um, while I'm loading, I'm going to try and here we go. This is what Jade is currently working on, I guess. Um, VTOL engine suite. FK. FVT-T wrapper. So these look like um, ver vertical takeoff and landing um, vents. Helicopter engine, okay. Down to, well, the, I actually have a mod which has something like this already, just so you know. Um, if you want to take a, and same with this. Um, take a look at, um, Uh, the Critter Crawler mod. Critter Crawler has something like this. It has very something very similar to this. And just for inspiration, I'm going to say I'm not. I don't mind it because I didn't make those. I'm just maintaining them. Okay. Um, these look very. What's this? This is a bubble tilt. Oh, so it's it's okay. That's very interesting. Very interesting. What kind of is it? A. Um, it's not a rocket engine. It's a jet engine, right? Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. But yeah, the Critter Crawler has, has engines similar to that. I'm actually trying to rebalance those engines. I had some people complain they were too powerful, which they are. Um, but I posted some my ideas and he came back with one thing and it's kind of stalled right now so I'll have, I'll have to work on it later i mean really the critter crawler mod i really just wanted the critter crawler itself because there's nothing like it out there anyway everything else in it is there are similar things in one one form or another oh okay end game exactly all of that's in one mod okay so let's see what we got here So I'm saying this is the hangar extender, if, if it happens, okay? Nope, it's not hangar extender. Okay. Okay, so the next one would be um, flexo docking. Okay, so I'm going to get this started. I have to take a quick break, and I will be back in about five minutes, okay? Um, I, I hear my dog making some noise. I have to see if he needs to be let out. Um, and also, I, I need to top up. So see you in a few minutes. Thank you.
and I'm back. Ooh, did I get raided while I was gone? Guess not. Alright, so let's see what happens now. And it's good. This is making me very unhappy. It's making me very unhappy because it's saying that what it's a mod that I wrote which is causing the problem. Fill it up. And I have no idea why that would happen. But if that's what the problem is, then at least it isn't a wasted evening, in a manner of speaking. So what I'm going to do is, let's assume for a moment that it now happens. I'm going to start taking out some other mods to see if it might be a conflict. Okay. But fill it up. Let me take a look when I last rebuilt it. GitHub. Oh, stop it. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Fill. It was updated on November 18th. And it was updated for 1.8. So maybe there's something going on with 1.9. The fill it up mod is a really, it's a fairly simple mod which simply lets you adjust the fill level of all the tanks in the VAB. So you can check your center of balance, etc. It's not an essential mod, so if I take it out, it's not going to hurt me. Especially now. I mean, it's really more for use in the SPH, um, but you can use it anywhere. Well, uh, Evil Frog, that was a long time ago. We're up to 1.91. And uh, when you say the ground experiments that couldn't connect with the, the network, what ground experiments uh, were you talking about? Well, that sounds like... Yep, there it is. Look at that. It's fill it up. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. And now we get the null ref. Why are we getting a null ref? Hold on a second. This might be a clue. Um, huh. Okay. Makes me very sad. Okay, so, so I want to, what I want to do is new Complete set of mods with error. Okay. What I want to do here is copy. I want to be able to reproduce this, okay? So I'm going to copy everything except the squad stuff. 
Oops. Into here. Okay. And then I'm going to delete, fill it up from here and copy everything back just to make sure that that's it. Yes, absolutely. If you're willing to take a look at it, please. Uh, I would love it. Okay. Um, they are OP. They, they are very over, over powerful. Take a, hold on. So let me find the thread for you. Okay. And um, you can take a look because you can look at my notes, what I have in there. Critter. Critter crawler. It's over here. Yeah. Here's the thread. Go to the end. And to end, see what you and oh, okay. But look at the look at my post and the post of the other guy who was there, just so you know what's going on. Because it, I didn't have time to go into the level that he was he was talking about. So I just want you to be aware of it. But if you can, that'd be really really good. Thank you, greatly appreciated. As I always say, okay, um, fill it up. Delete. Okay. Over here. Up. Okay. Two. Copy all of these here. Copy. Okay. And we do okay. Also, copy over here. Okay, now we try it again. Make sure that fill it up isn't here. Nope, it is not here. All of that for one mod. Okay, like I said, so Jade, whatever you can do, it, it's really good. Um, when I got the mod, I was most concerned with Critter Crawler, and I really didn't look at the the, uh, the power levels or whatever of all the engines. The suggestions that I made were based on my taking the size of the end, the, the nozzle, comparing it to stock engines. Okay, so um, you know it was it was a a guesstimate more than anything else. And I really didn't take into account some of the things that the guy mentioned. Okay. But anyway, whatever you can do, it's great. Um, and just let me know. Okay. So while that's happening, let me load, fill it up. Development. So the first thing I'm going to do, assuming that everything works here, and I'm not going to do this right now, okay? I'm going to go in and, assuming everything works, maybe I'll start the start the the uh, career over and get get a couple of missions in. But uh, just so you know what I'm going to be doing and how how we do this, the first thing I'll do is just recompile it against 1.9. I don't think that's the problem, but um, it. It's the it's the easiest thing to do. It takes five minutes, um, well, five minutes to, to recompile it, and um, however long it takes to reboot to restart the game. Okay, um, yeah, it is currently set for one point eight point one build, and I will have to see what's going on, but I don't know how or why it's getting into that part of it. So I will have to, I will have to dig into it a little bit. Okay. Hi, uh, Jesuit. That's um, let the uh, critter crawler is. Yeah, they are. Um, but once Jade. Oh, oh, 
assuming Jay actually come, you know, does this, once he does it, just take a look to make sure that tier 7 is the right tier for it, okay? Um, but yeah, I agree. You know, it, it, it's kind of high tech with, with retracting engines and uh, this thing which comes out with six legs and, and crawl. Evil Frog, thank you for being here. I appreciate the sentiment. And uh, look for me tomorrow night. I will be streaming between uh, about 6.30 and 11.30 East Coast time. Uh, and I will be working on mods. One of them might even be uh, fill it up. We'll see. But anyway, thank you for coming. And for everyone else who's been here, thank you so much for sitting and watching. You know, this, this I'm sure it can be m more boring or tedious for a watcher than me, because at least I have to, I get to do things. Okay. Um, but it's appreciated. And hopefully some of you, you know, I might even be able to use this as an example. I may, I may save it. Um... To show people how to debug their um, their saves. All right, let's try it. Should I get Benny Hill back on? It's it. It's fill it up. Look at this. It's perfect. Arg! Sorry. <laughs> so what I'll have to do now is, uh, well, I'm going to have to test uh, fill it up by itself when, when nothing else is installed. Because I don't know if there's an interaction, but very obviously it is fill it up because it's not here. Everything looks good now. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do a launch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know you're going to blow up. I want you to blow up. Oh, he survived? <laughs> well, so far, he doesn't have a parachute, so let's revert.